Hello booktube! Sorry it's been a little bit since my last video. If you guys didn't already know, I live in Orlando, Florida, and we recently had a hurricane come through the middle of the state and it left a lot of people without power. My family and I got really lucky and we ended up being able to maintain power, but unfortunately after the storm passed we lost internet for an entire week. I've also been super swamped at work, so here we are. During the Hurricane Irma aftermath, I actually celebrated my birthday and I got quite a few gifts. I'll be doing a book haul for you guys later, but one of the things I asked my husband for was a book subscription box and I decided to go with Owlcrate. This has been sitting in my house for a while just waiting for me to film this unboxing video. So once again, I have never gotten a book subscription box before. This is going to be my first one and I wanted to save the surprise to open it on camera. We will say that I do know what the book is. I was at Booknet Fest and I happened to get an arc of the book that's in here. And my friend Elizabeth from the Owlry Books, who insisted that she was really good at guessing Owl Crate books, let me know that it was probably the same one. But anyway, here we go. Let's do this. The September Owl Crate was called Mythical Creatures. And I'm not going to read what's on here. We'll get back to this shortly. All right, so there's a lot of stuff. Okay. So here's the first thing I pulled out, Son of Poseidon, the Soap Librarian, Eucalyptus Tea Bath Salts. That's kind of cool. Smells good. Now you can pretend that you're in the sea with Percy Jackson. <laughs> These amazing bath salts smell like eucalyptus and are sure to leave you feeling refreshed. Created exclusively for Owl Crate by the Soap Librarian. There is a, I don't know if you guys can see it, yeah you can see it, um, a little dragon coin purse. This is cute. Keep all of your magical treasures and keepsakes safe with your new dragon coin purse. This durable canvas pouch was created exclusively for Team Owlcrate. I have a bookmark that says, I am the blood of the dragon. Now this is kind of cool because it's a very, it seems like a very, very thin piece of wood. Like it's still pliable. It feels like super thick cardboard, but it looks like a very thin sheet of wood. Channel the strength of the mother of dragons herself. With this beautiful bookmark from Ink and Wonder Designs, made out of sustainable wood and designed exclusively for this box, this is a bookmark you'll want to keep forever. I agree. There is a book bow in here which has like a mermaid and a unicorn and so it's got that mythical creatures vibe. We're over the moon to have the opportunity to work with the famous book bow. After months of requests we're including this exclusive item from the original creator of book sleeves. Made with an absolutely stunning fabric this protective sleeve will fit most paperbacks and small hardcover books keeping them looking beautiful for years to come. There's a mythical creatures pin and of course this wouldn't be complete without Hagrid and a Hippogriff sticker. This is pretty cute. There's a sneak peek for their October box, which is Find Me in the Forest. I had only planned on getting it for September just for my birthday, just because I wanted to check it out, but I don't know. Maybe I'll get it for another month to see what's in the Find Me in the Forest box. <sighs> it looks like in the October box you'll be receiving an exclusive candle from In the Wake of Time. So that's kind of cool. So here is the Owl Crate exclusive cover of Before She Ignites. Um, the arc that I have, the snake going around her is actually silver, so this one is in gold, and that's the difference that they kind of made to the cover. But this is the arc that I received while at Booknet Fest. But now I have the hard copy, which is pretty cool. It is part of the Fallen Isles trilogy, and I've heard so much about this book at this point, I'm really eager to jump into it. So that is my first Owl Crate unboxing. I'm not 100% sure if I will continue on. I hadn't originally planned to do that, but if I do, let me know in the comments below if you'd be interested in me doing more unboxings. So it looks like this should fit in here. Okay, I lied. This is not going to fit in here. <laughs> so this, even this, this is not, what, what does a small hardcover look like? Because I don't think, yeah, this ain't it. Well, anyway, that's okay. I'll just stick my paperbacks in it. All right, guys. Well, thanks for joining me. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe. And don't forget to hit the bell to be notified when I upload more videos. Thanks for watching and see you next time.